gerbil lovers and welcome back to the gerbil vine. Thank you all so much for being here, for clicking on this video, and for helping us spread around good gerbil care information. Before we get started today, we just wanted to let you know um, about a future update um, with the gerbil vine. So we now actually create content on a second platform as well. Um, so far I've just re-uploaded everything that I've put onto YouTube onto that platform. But that new platform is called Newsbreak, and they feature content in the form of videos and articles. They have well over 20 million users, which means more people available to possibly see our videos on good gerbil care. If any of you are interested in checking out our page on Newsbreak, I will link that down below in the description box. So today's topic is going to be out of tank time, is it really needed? While it is true that gerbils need a lot of mental and physical stimulation, out of tank time can sometimes be very stressful for them. Gerbils can be very different in their range of personalities and behaviors, so often what works for one gerbil will not be the universal thing that works for all gerbils. In my own opinion, forcing your gerbils to venture out of their safe place when they don't want to or may not be ready to Baby. And can impact your bond and trust process in a negative way. Dribbles are small, sensitive creatures and are easily prone to stress. As owners that love our pets, particularly our gerbils, I know that it's never our intention to directly cause any stress or duress to our gerbils. So for today's video, we're going to go over some of the ways that out of tank time could be stressful for your gerbils and my personal opinion on if I think out of tank time is needed or not. So one of the main reasons why I feel that out of tank time could be potentially stressful for your gerbils would be that gerbils use scent association and their tank really has all of their scent in it. When putting your gerbils in a new space without any of their scent or familiar smell in it, this forces them to react to the new space and sometimes that can be very stressful for them. Gerbils do a lot of recognition through what they smell and a new clean environment will not be able to provide them the same security as their home will. Gerbils are also a prey animal. In their tank they have a ton of spaces where they can go and run and hide to if they feel safe or insecure or nervous, including their burrows. In a free roaming environment the spaces or hides are usually limited and they are instead forced to be out in the open which again can be very stressful for a prey animal. This may not be the case with every gerbil, but when my gerbils have had free roam time, they get really nervous, they poop all over the floor a bunch more than they do normally when I interact with them in their tank, and they just overall seem extra jumpy. Because of this, I don't really give my gerbils out of tank time, though we have had multiple attempts in our time together. It's just something that they're not interested in. Many people advocate for out of tank time for their small animals and I think that that's really great. The only time that I find out of tank time is necessary is if you have a smaller enclosure. If you have a tiny enclosure, letting your gerbils out of their enclosure multiple times a day is something that I would consider to be extremely crucial to their overall health and mental well-being. If you keep your gerbils cooped up in a small environment, they're obviously not getting the mental stimulation or the exercise that they need. If you house your gerbils in a larger tank, like for example my tank is a 40 gallon, there are various ways and means for you to provide all sorts of stimulation and enrichment for them. Because of that, you don't have to physically take them out of their tank and let them run around in your house as they're able to do all of that in their environment. Another thing I wanted to quickly note is that if you are having difficulty just picking your gerbils up and holding them in your hands like on the spot, Taking them out of their tank and putting them in a new environment is something that's only going to make the situation that much more stressful for them. Gerbils require a lot of patience, dedication, effort, and you really do need that trust established in order to strengthen your bond with them. You need a lot of consistency and patience in order to be able to get to the point where you're able to train them to come when they hear a sound or um, when you call their name or if you make some sort of motion with your hands. For me, it's simply shaking a treat jar that gets them right up to the top of the tank and ready to go. If you have just gotten your gerbils, it's also especially important that you let them settle in before you attempt to shock them essentially by placing them in a new environment again. Some gerbils are really excited and ready to go, so having them in a new space would be something that would be super exciting and adventurous for them. Not every gerbil is like this and it is important to be able to recognize signs of stress within your gerbil. Some signs that your gerbil may be stressed out would be excessive squeaking, jumping, trying to climb the walls of the playpen, running around frantically without calming down, or even starting to fight with their tank mate who may be in the playpen with them, and constantly trying to hide. If you notice any of these signs, I would discontinue the out of tank time until your gerbil no longer exhibits any of these issues. 
So in conclusion, I do not feel that out of tank time is something that is necessary for the mental and physical well-being and stimulation of your gerbils, as long as they live in a large or decently sized enclosure. If you do have a smaller home for your gerbils, like anything under a 40 gallon tank, getting them out to run around and be a bit more active is something that I definitely encourage you to do. Or say for example, you're unable to fit a wheel in your enclosure, having out of tank time where they're able to run around or even run on the wheel is something that I would say is a definite must with your gerbils. But please don't feel like this is something that you have to do. Like I mentioned earlier, some gerbils just may not be interested in coming out of their tank. They may just like being in their home in their own environment. And that's okay. I think that some people are like that too. We have introverts and we have extroverts. And not everyone wants to be pushed to do something that um, they don't feel comfortable doing. And I feel that our small pets are the exact same way. I think it's very important to listen to and to respect the cues that we get from our animals. And to not force them into uncomfortable situations. Particularly if it's not needed. If your gerbil is willing and happy to get out of their tank, then by all means, go ahead and give them an entire day's worth of out-of-tank time. Let us know in the comments down below your feelings on out-of-tank time and if you do give it to your gerbils. But thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.